Hello everyone, welcome to Aeromechanology channel. Today's topic is worst case tolerance stack up analysis. Worst case tolerance stack up analysis is um, a method used in engineering and manufacturing to ensure that even in the most extreme cases, when all component tolerances are at their maximum or minimum values, the assembly or system will still function as intended. It assumes that all tolerances are at their worst case limits simultaneously. This method guarantees that an assembly will meet its design specifications in all situations, but it can lead to overly conservative designs and unnecessarily tight tolerances, which can, you know, increase manufacturing costs. Formula for worst case tolerance stack up. For an assembly consisting of, let's say, n components, the total tolerance, TWC, is the sum of the absolute tolerances of the individual components, TWC, equals T1 plus T2 plus T3, and so on up to T, where T1, T2, and so on up to Tn are the individual tolerances of the components. TWC is the total tolerance or overall stack up of the system. Steps for worst case tolerance stack up analysis. First, list individual tolerances. Identify the tolerances of each component that contributes to the overall stack up. These are usually given as plus minus values. For example, plus minus 0 0.1 millimeters. Second, sum the tolerances, add up the absolute values of all the tolerances. Since we're interested in the worst case scenario, we ignore the sign, whether positive or negative, and take the maximum deviation possible for each tolerance. Example, suppose you are assembling a device with three parts, and each part has the following tolerances. Part 1, tolerance, T1 equals plus or minus 0 0.1 millimeters. Part 2, tolerance, T2 equals plus or minus 0 0.2 millimeters. Part 3 tolerance, T3 equals plus or minus 0 0.15 millimeters. Using the worst case tolerance method, T sub WC equals the absolute value of T1 plus the absolute value of T2 plus the absolute value of T3. So T sub WC equals 0 0.1 plus 0. 0.2 plus 0 0.15, which equals 0 0.45 millimeters. Therefore, the total worst case tolerance stack up for the assembly is plus or minus 0 0.45 millimeters. This means that in the worst case scenario, the variation in the assembly will be 0 0.45 millimeters, which should be within the design limits to ensure the assembly functions properly. When to use worst case tolerance stack up. Safety critical systems. If failure could lead to significant consequences, for example, in aerospace, medical devices, or automotive safety systems, worst case analysis is often necessary. High reliability. When the product or system must operate reliably over a long period, even under extreme conditions, this method ensures that the assembly will not fail. Simple assemblies. In cases where the number of components is small, worst case analysis might not be overly conservative, so it can be used effectively. Application. Worst case tolerance analysis is used when absolute reliability is required, such as in critical applications. For example, aerospace or medical devices where failure cannot be tolerated. However, for non-critical applications or where there are many components, using the RSS method can save on manufacturing costs by avoiding unnecessarily tight tolerances while still providing a reliable estimate of tolerance variation. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Happy learning.